It's another episode of 420 Grands and it was drama in Dushanbe this evening as India once again for the second game on the trot managed to rescue a point from a game that seemed lost. 1-1 one, one again against Afghanistan, Afghanistan's home game tonight. Uh, and for large chunks of the game, India looked like they wouldn't get anything out of it. Uh, we've got in the studio Weber Vraganandan and joining us from Manipur is former India captain Renidi Singh. Renidi, I'll come to you first, man. Uh, what do you make of the game? I think second half was good, but first half uh, we have given too much of respect and they have killed us the game. Uh, we, were, we were playing Afghanistan, yes, good side, but they were not Qatar or they were not Oman. And we have seen that in the second half, if we can play this good game, why not in the first half? First half, I think we, we were too behind. And I think we were given, like I said, when, why I think we were giving respect is that a player like Brendan coming to, to deep in the defence and taking a ball from Adil's feet. And, and, and that was not a, a, the attacking game which we have played in the second half. And in the second half, I, I never seen Brendan coming down and taking a ball from the feet. And he was creating more chances in the opponent's half. And that's how we should play. And, and players know that. Players know that if we can play better so well in the second half, uh, we, we could have scored goals. Sunil Sethri, a great header. And... and of course, one went out, uh, crosses from the left, Farooq. But we, we got chances by playing that good football. What, what, so, better second half, but too much respect in the first half. Yeah, but what, was it, is that partly to do with the way the team was tactically set up? The sort of... Uh, and the pressure that was on the team to get a sort of positive result, get a win out of this game instead of... Uh, or at least after the Bangladesh game? Bangladesh game, we were attacking. We were attacking a whole, the whole 90 minutes. Bangladesh were sitting at the back for the 90 minutes, but we knew that Afghanistan at home is not going to sit, is not going to sit down at the back and and wait to counter attack. So why don't why why we have to play like you know like in the first half sitting deep, but we we could have easily played like in the second half for 45 minutes. In that 45 minutes, 35 minutes, we played attacking football, and there were more bodies in the first half in the opponent zone which we didn't get to see in the first half. So, why not? I, it's all about confidence. It, yeah, again, it's an experience, but it's all about the confidence that, you know, when you give too much of respect, it hurts and they hit on that. And we got hit on that, I mean. No, obviously, like, there's like two ways to look at this. One is that we've rescued a point. The other is, and I'm sure the coach is going to be saying this, is that, listen, we were down a goal, we were away from home, and we've still come back, fought till injury time and got a point. Which is like a great thing. Hmm. But like you're saying, is it because they were set, the way that they were set up? Now, I, don't, I can't see them setting up any differently. Like, I can't see the coach deciding that, hey, I'm going to play Ashik at left back and play Farooq on the left wing from the start of the game. That's never going to happen. Hmm. He will want to play Ashik on the wing. Hmm. So, it's just a matter of like, no matter what the personnel is, the urgency has to be the same. Which is essentially how what you want to do. Which is essentially what Kennedy is also saying. I mean, we've just gone through the game and uh, Weber has done a live, we were doing a live blog on it as well. So, not wanting to go, and also large periods of the game were without incident, mm. right? So, a few of the things that I wanted to bring up to talk about uh, in this show. One was, this pitch seemed very narrow, very compact. So, even though we had a five-man midfield, we had a packed midfield, uh, players like Sunil, play, uh, players playing in the centre, Sahel, these boys were not getting time and space on the ball to actually create anything with it. And as a result, the closest that we came were when crosses were coming in or of set pieces, right? Yeah, they, 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 didn't, allow, they didn't allow our midfielders to move because they didn't sit back. They were, they were pressing high. They were not allowing any passes uh, to be given from the centre of the field. They were closing down as soon as possible. And that's why uh, uh, Abdul Ali Samad or Sunil were not getting space uh, to move as freely as they want to. That's that we have to give credit to Afghanistan for closing down too quickly, which in the first half we didn't, right? We were sitting at the back and waiting for them to attack and so that we can counter-attack. But then when you get a ball also, you have got 60, 70 yards to travel and, and we didn't have that much body or legs to do that. So I think we, we allow them to come in. And on the other hand, Afghanistan were pressing too quick and that's how, uh, that, that's how they managed to play well in the first half. But yes, in the second half, India became, uh, uh, they, the, play, the way they have played, they played it, it with the same style, but more bodies in the, in the opponent's half. 
and that's how we could create the chances. That's how we could see that, you know, Sunil Chetri got more into the ball and the other players. And we have to see that, the, we have to give a credit to the coach also, Stemak, for, for a change for, uh, for Len Dungal. I'm not saying that Len Dungal scored because he played, he, that's only because we, we are praising him, no. But when in that 10 minutes or 12 minutes, whenever he got a chance, he looks dangerous. Whenever he gets the ball, he looks dangerous. And, and he got the reward yeah, for, 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 for getting inside. So now, in the first half, how many times have we seen uh, we putting our bodies in the opponent's box? Not really, right? In the second half, we, we, we got the chances because we got more bodies in the opponent's D box and we got it. And San Milan, you know, it's right there knocking the door that he's ready to fight for the position. So now it will be good to see it's either Udanta or San Milan. Yeah, that's, that's so, actually a good thing that's come out. I of, mean, to seeing yeah. new development. Yeah, it, it also looks like, I mean, the your Pranay Haldar, who is playing in a sort of uh, uh, holding. Uh, holding role, yeah. as the game developed, that, that, he also yeah. had more chance to sort of collect himself and just play a simple pass, play a simple pass, play a simple pass and get those players yeah. involved. So, yeah. that, that's, uh, I think, uh, Siddhan, that's a very good question. This is what we, we were talking with my friend, you know, who is also a coach here. So, we were talking about, about what we were talking about is, you know, uh, of course, yes, he is a good player, Pranoy Haldar. And ATK, and he, he, he fits in ATK style of game. And, and he was uh, a good player and, and a main player, important player in contestine, uh, with contestine philosophy. But what I feel with Stimak, he, he, he needs a player who can play quicker, who can play the pass quicker and who is more comfortable with the ball. And which we don't get to see from Pranoy Haldar. Pranoy Haldar, I think he will be great when we play a better team like Qatar. But when we have to go all out attacking, I think he is not the, the, the player we need, you know. I think Thapa would be more valuable in this type of game. I'm, I'm not saying Pranoy Haldar is a bad player, but in this system, I, I, I think we need a, a guy who can play quicker, uh, who can move quicker and who can play the pass and then who can, who can create the chances. But he's more of a defensive role where he, take, he takes time to, like you said, safe pass, safe pass. Sometimes you have to take the risks and pass, uh, pass ahead. Fair enough. Uh, I want to ask you, man, what, uh, in terms of how now uh, Steamash is lining up his teams and how, how he's doing uh, on a, at least tactical basis, um, in the end of this game, essentially it was like throw everything at it, right? Point all your so, guns in one direction. Yeah, whatever. And, and of course, against teams like Afghanistan, like Renedi is saying, that is exactly what India need to be doing. Yeah. You need to be doing it from the, from the first from kickoff, not, not waiting till you are, you know, pretty much desperate and, and, and like clutching at straws to do it. Mm. Uh, that apart, how do you see the sort of tactical evolution of this team over the last five, six games? B both of you start with Weber. I'm not sure. Like, I mean, I don't know where the goals are coming from up front. Like, that's, uh, we've now scored three goals in the qualifiers. And uh, all three different scorers, but two of those goals have been in injury time. Set pieces. Yeah, set again. pieces. Brandon's corner and Brandon's corner, Adil scores, Brandon's corner, Dungal scores. So I don't know who's scoring the goals up front. I also feel like Sunil is being forced to drop back too deep to pick up the ball constantly. Like uh, I think it was only in the second half, like Renedi also said earlier, when he was actually in his spaces, like he was finding spaces, he was getting in a little more there. Again, like I, I don't know what to make of like the tactical evolution over the last few games because initially Sahel was looking really good, but now he's suddenly looking, I don't know, is he overwhelmed, is he injured, I don't know what's going on there with the player himself. But he's looking a little leggy on the ball. He's not managing to do those little tricks, those little bits of magic that he was, at, uh, those bits of magic that really got us in the King's Cup, hmm. for example. Hmm. That kind of play is not coming out anymore. Yeah. Again, different opposition, different situation. And at the back, well, we, we, we have who we have at the back. Plenty of, <laughs> yeah, and also injury concerns and, yeah, and things exactly. like that. So, so this, it's just the like a stop back line is, yeah. Fair enough. Randy, Although I do believe that Pranay is going to play the next game against Oman for sure. Like I think yeah. it goes in perfectly with what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and I feel that if, if you see the last, if you're talking about the last uh, few games, I think first two games against Oman and Qatar, I think play against those teams, I think India played really well, defensively. Defensively well and counter attack, we got a goal against Oman. It was a good start. And again, when we went to Qatar, we, where everyone thought we will, we will 
get three or four goals easily. But the way our, our, our footballers have performed, I think that was the best example. But now, the, the funny part is, the, the, the important part is, are we ready to play when the team, when the, when the 10 men is defending in their own half? Do we have that kind of player who can create chances in, 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 that, in that congested area? No, we, we, we are not yet ready for that. So we just, we, it's, a, it's a process set where we, ha- we all have to understand that playing defensive and counter-attack, we have, done, we have done really, really well. So I give credit to all the boys. But when we have to break down, like Afghanistan, when we play Bangladesh, are we, are we that, that great players to create chances now in the process? And we have to give time for that. This is the next step to Indian football. And we can't just blame on the players because some of them, they have started really late playing football. So we just can't because they have to be more comfortable. You need players who are highly technical, uh, technical who is really sound uh, technically. And we don't have that many. So, so to play this, uh, I like the Stimak style of play, as I have said earlier also. But we need quality players who are more comfortable with the ball when we play a, a team like Bangladesh or Afghanistan where they will be defending deep. And we have to it's remember that, of course, Indian football. Yeah, we have to remember that in these qualifiers, we have one game against both these sides remaining. So there is still an opportunity to do better than we have yeah. done in in the previous two matches and perhaps get a couple of wins Full on points. the board. Yeah. Uh, in the context of Afghanistan, Renny, I want to ask you this: in the last uh, eight, ten years, you know, not so long ago, we were a game covering when the Afghanistan home game was in Tau Devi Lal Stadium, Gurgaon, was playing. Which was the, yep. it was the opposite of the World Cup final. Basically, the two lowest ranked teams in the world were playing against each other in, in that reverse. Uh, it was Bhutan and Afghanistan. And in that relatively short period, even though they, their ranking isn't that high, they've managed yeah. to put together a highly competitive team, I think, by bringing in players from the wider Afghan diaspora, whether it's Germany, US, uh, I think there's some a couple players from uh, who are based in Australia as well, uh, the Netherlands. So from all over the place. How do you think, in the larger scheme of Indian football or the national team, Renri, how can in, India also has a massive diaspora of people living all over the world? How can we bring some of that talent in to feature with the national team? And and do you think there's like that's a way of looking at maybe accelerating India's movement forward? Yeah, well, I think that's the, that's the thing where, where government and the IFF have to understand because I can, we, we have to see that where Afghanistan, I know that there are many players from there, they don't play in Afghan, Afghanistan. They, like you said, they play in Germany, second division. There are many players from Germany. There are many players who are playing in Turkey, third, second or third division. In every part of, in every part of, the, of Europe, there are many players in Scandinavia playing first or second division. So, so they are not a bad side, you know. They, they, they are a, a player who have who have tasted in second division or third division in European standard. So they are not they are not bad as what you know. If they are they are not all local players. So I think it will be great if India can also look. But this is something where government and the AFF has to do the do the meeting and and, and take a decision on that. Of course, it will be great if we can have. We have seen Michael Chopra in was when he when he was on his prime in Southampton in Newcastle. Even he, Bob Houghton tried to get him, but but didn't manage to because it's a government issue. Regulations, what yeah. What we have to understand. Yeah, yeah, basically the dual nationality aspect where we ask th- those players yeah. to give up their passports and then take an Indian passport, yeah. otherwise they can't play yeah. for India. It's something that needs to be yeah. perhaps uh, right. looked at. In, in fact, recently I got a message from da- uh, Danny Bath. Yeah. Uh, again, and given India's defensive sort of difficulties at, at this point, Someone like him coming in at central defence would be a massive boost to, to the national team. But I don't know how, how that will play out. Uh, any other yeah. sort of things that from this game stood out for you guys? Uh, come again? I, I didn't, I, I, Anything I else didn't, that stood out from this game for you? Specifically from this game? Uh, stood out. So the positive we have to take is the first, in the second half, first 20 minutes from the second half and the last 12 minutes from the second half is what we have to take the positive from. And that's where we, go. we created chances. We could have scored the goal. And, and uh, the confidence that we have seen, we cannot see in the first half, we have seen in that. And the players, you know, let, it, this is not a time to talk negative, but then this is a time 
we take all the positive from here and and play well in the remaining matches but one good thing is the the second half you know when you are down for say 80 85 minutes and you score a goal a players regain that confidence and it, this is a good thing you know that we didn't lose if we if we would have lost this match it would have been very very difficult to come back and you know how you know even the fans uh, back in india and the journalists the for players it would have not been easy but uh, we have to thank uh, for the lovely uh, delivery from brandon and and a, and a perfect header from len dungal who has come in and i hope he work hard and 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 fight for the position and which is a it's a, it's a, it will be a good selection for for uh, for stimak and we need players who can create something out of nowhere that individual brilliance or individual quality uh, when we have to play against a uh, uh, side a uh, south asian side yeah i think it's like the thing that has come out is len dungal it's good for the antar to have a little bit of competition regardless of whether len starts or not or udanta starts forget about that it's just good to have competition for every position on the pitch and it's perfect that we have yeah, someone who's doing yeah, that now absolutely whether he starts or not yeah, even absolutely. if he comes in at 75 yeah, yeah, exactly. minutes at least the opposition is thinking yaar aisa nahi hai ki udanta singh sara 90 minute khelega hi khelega you know uski jagah koi aur bhi aa sakta hai aur that guy is aur dono bhi aa sakte hain and he's trying to do something different, different as well completely offer something his style of play is different he's he's brilliant but we could we could see that the coach was traveling just before uh, this match for last next two three weeks back where we have seen that uh, our our national team coach has been traveling to kerala watching matches goa watching matches so so this is why only because he could see the match and he have seen how len dungal but otherwise len dungal were no in the scene even though he have scored a hat trick if you remember with north east uh, and no nobody seems to to give a damn but it's all be credit to the coach that he went and see that and it's a good selection right because who, who i was not thinking that len dungal will will come to the team but then he's there in the team came for 12 minutes he scored the goal and he's fighting for a, for his position now so then we have to give credit to the coach for that for select for the for those kind of selection yeah and it'll be a massive Believing, it's not easy at all and it'll be a massive boost to len as as well coming back to his club side of course going into the next game against oman first but then coming back to the club side and and then hoping to make more of an impact uh, so for his club side in goa Yeah, yeah, Brandon to Len yeah, and yes. boom. Yeah, yes, yes, Sudan. It's whenever you get a score, and when when India was facing a difficult uh, in a difficult position, and you took out from that, you bail out from that, and I think he, this will he will gain he will gain a lot of confidence from there. And we all know that Goa they are doing well. Even a player like Jackie Chan, who who is also doing well, but he couldn't do much for Indian team, but for the for the club side. So Len will play with more confidence, and I'm. i'm sure in in the, in the coming months uh, he will be a better player but a uh, good feeling that you know india at, at, the, at the end moment we we scored otherwise uh, it would have been in trouble yeah especially since we're sitting around late at night and we've kept the studio staff as well uh, waiting around to shoot this very rapid fire review of the game uh, it would have been really disappointing if we were sitting here talking about a loss <laughs> so so yeah we are we are at least smiling now we are at least smiling now a draw is better than a loss yeah definitely so we have to take all the positive from here and look forward to the remaining matches fair enough on that note from ready saying i think we'll wrap it up unless Absolutely. you have something no, to add at all. uh india play oman on the 19th of this month that's in 4 days time we'll be back with a preview to that game uh, hopefully randy singh will join us again as will webber ragnandan uh, thank you for watching thank you sidan thank you sidan thank you vibe you guys are looking great thank you thank you <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Good night. See you, brother. And thank See you for watching. Uh, stay tuned to Newsclick. Got in.